Some people think they're fascinating, while others think they're scary. Georgia Tech thinks that snakes can help build better robots. Hamid Marvi, a PhD candidate in mechanical engineering, has studied 20 different species at Zoo Atlanta, watching and videotaping how snakes move. Whether slithering through confined spaces or climbing varying slopes, the reptiles use very little energy. Marvi is using those findings to build better search and rescue robots. Robots that are available um, currently have a lot of problems in terms of, in terms of power management. So they need a lot of power. Their motors always have the overheating problem because they require a lot of power. So our goal is to study animal locomotion, snake locomotion, and see how snake can manage its limited amount of energy to go long distances, crawl through narrow crevices, climb up the hill, and so forth. Some snakes, like this Dumeril's boa, prefer to use rectilinear locomotion which features a muscular traveling wave from head to tail. The snake lifts its ventral scales to pull its body forward. The movement is very efficient and allows the animal to travel without bending its body. That's why Marvy built ScalyBot 2, an eight motor robot that mimics rectilinear locomotion. Two of those motors are specifically designed to control the angle of its scales to harness the power of friction. Using that closed loop control system, as soon as there is a change in the frictional properties of the surface or in the slope that the robot is climbing and due to that change the robot slides down the hill, it can automatically adjust the scales to provide required friction to avoid sliding backward. That's useful because of the complex and inconsistent terrains covered by search and rescue robots. Snakes are you know, highly maligned creatures. I really like the idea that here's a snake that is uh, uh, offering something to people and it helps, helps me present to the, to the public that uh, snakes really do have something to offer.